On this episode, we are going to be checking out the Dango A10 series coming right up. Hey, what's up guys? This is Jin from Ori Bags and on this channel, we are all about coming up with product videos and tips to help you carry better. So if you're new to the channel, why not subscribe to us and don't forget to hit that bell button too. And welcome to part one. So today we are going to be checking out the basics from the Dango A10 series. Now I've been wanting to do a video on this for a while now, but I was waiting till they launched uh, their new colors and accessories so that I can have all the latest with me in this video. Now I'm going to be splitting this video into two parts. So be sure you check them both out. Okay, now let's do this. Okay, so there are a couple of things that you need to know about the Dango A10 series. Now the A series is a modular series, it's a modular collection. So they've got loads of accessories for you to kind of mix and match to suit your carry lifestyle. But the most important product of them all is this one right here. This is the A10 Adapt Wallet. Uh, and without this, none of these will work. All right, so the A10 Adapt Wallet chassis is made from machined aerospace grade anodized aluminum. Yes, it's a mouthful, so it's very high tech. One more time, machined aerospace grade anodized aluminum. All right, now the A10 is also designed with Dango's very popular and unique patent pending quick release rail system. Uh, this mechanism is available on both sides of the wallet and this allows easy access to your cards while keeping them securely in place. Now on one side of the chassis is a horizontal cavity that can hold up to four cards that is protected by a removable aluminum RFID plate. So this piece right here, as you can see, there are four screws, all right, and this actually holds the plate in place. So you can actually kind of remove this and I believe Dango has just recently launched a new accessory for you to actually uh, swap plates around. Okay, so more on that a little bit later. Now on the other side, which is this side right here, this is the vertical side. Uh, we have a vertical oriented cavity, which is meant for displaying ID cards, badges, and basically any cards that require scanning. So it's really perfect for um, accessing security buildings, uh, boarding a public transportation, you got a bus card or a train card that needs scanning. So this section right here will be most suitable for that. Now let's give you some dimensions, all right? Now the Dango A10 Adapt Wallet measures at 4.1 inches in length and it's about 2.7 inches in height. And it's pretty lightweight as well. All right, so let's take a look at the capacity of the Adapt Wallet. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the Adapt Wallet can only hold up to five cards, which is four at the back in this cavity right here, horizontal side, and one up front, which is the vertical side. Okay, so let me demonstrate to you. I've got a few cards over here. So I've got one, two, three, four, four cards. And as you can see, it slots in fairly easily into the uh, rail system and it actually holds in place, holds the cards in place. Okay, I'm going to do a shake test right now. So as you can see, um, the cards are kept in place, but of course, I think if you do it really hard, the cards will definitely come out. So yeah, so as you can see, two cards, flew out so yeah don't um i wouldn't recommend for you to shake your wallet this way but yeah some light shaking oops some light shaking um should be okay all right um so as i mentioned earlier the front cavity is meant for a vertical orientation so it's 
great for um, cards that require scanning, maybe office badges and um, yeah that's what it's most useful for I think uh, ID badges, office security ca uh, badges and cards that require scanning so if you got a bus card or a train card this section right here will be most useful but I do want to raise this one issue that I discovered while experimenting with this wallet and that's not all scannable cards if that's even a word can be used on this vertical rail for example I'm just going to show you this is my office uh, security badge and it's a little bit thicker as you can see it's a little bit thicker than your regular card so it will not fit into the cavity so I'm going to try so as you can see I'm really trying to sort of like <laughs> get it in there but it's definitely not gonna not gonna fit so um, if I force it in I'm definitely gonna damage my uh, security card so but yeah having said that I'm just highlighting a fact that not all scannable cards will fit into this cavity however if your card is super slim just like this one right here or if you are in Malaysia and if you have a touch and go card then no problem it will fit in perfectly now another thing that I would like to highlight is that if your card is on the thinner side or on the softer side then you might have some difficulty sliding the card out with one hand and that's only because um, of the cavity and when you push against the card the card sort of concaves into the cavity just making it a little bit challenging to kind of slide it out with one hand but it's really a very small issue so it's not as smooth as I hope it would be especially when your card is really soft again I'm just telling you this because I'm just looking for something to nitpick on but you know it's really not a big problem at all now the next question that you might be asking is can it fit cash and the answer is yes of course but limited so if you need to carry cash around you will need to store your cash in this section right here just at the vertical cavity and I think designs like this are really meant to lead the users towards a more cashless lifestyle. So please do adjust your expectations on how much cash you will be able to carry um, with this wallet. Now to store your cash, you would need to fold your bills this way. So I've got some notes over here. So just do a half and one more half. Now the reason why I'm recommending this is because you want your notes to fit perfectly in the cavity of the wallet right here so just slide your vertical card up and slot your cash inside and you will see that it should fit in beautifully all right so this becomes sort of like a secret compartment if you will for you to store your cash and even coins if you must okay so I'm gonna demonstrate with some coins let me just take out the cash right here and I've got some coins here I'm not sure exactly how much coins I have but I just grabbed it out from my wallet and just to show you guys that it will be able to fit in some coins okay so I've got the coins in here close it up there you go Now a little bit more on the exterior features so with the adapt wallet you can actually use a lanyard with this so dango actually sells lanyards as well or you can also get your own lanyard whichever that you like you can hook them up right here and just wear them over your neck and you can use this vertical section as your scannable sort of like card holder and you will also notice that there is another hole right here okay this one right here and a slot on top here 
okay now this area is where you would install your chassis clip so this one right here this is also an accessory this is a chassis clip and I will show you more on how to use this chassis clip in part two so be sure you check out part two uh, for the chassis clip so this chassis clip is great for you know holding cash for clipping it into your pocket but yeah more on that in the next video so make sure you check out part two now I'm also very excited to show you the new colors of the adapt wallet that dango has just launched um, not too long ago and previously it was just this one uh, this is slate gray but now you can get some exciting new colors such as this is crimson red very nice such a vibrant color and then you have champagne gold this one this is champagne gold and you have satin silver some people think that this is quite similar to slate grey but if you put them side by side they are really different slate grey is of course um, a lot darker and satin silver is much lighter okay and last but not least we have jet black right so now you can really mix and match you can get um, you know a couple of these wallets based on your mood your lifestyle and mix them up with whatever accessories that suit your lifestyle all right but we're gonna get to more on that in the next video all right so we've come to the end of part one and we've covered the main features of the adapt wallet the main adapt wallet and you know what you can purchase this wallet on its own without any of the accessories however if you feel like you need a little bit more space for your cards uh, for your cash and you want some added features then you will definitely need to check out the A-Series accessories. And all of that is in part two of the Dango A-Series video. So be sure you check that out. And in the meantime, if you want to get your hands on the Dango Adapt Wallet, you can head on down to oribex.com or just hit the links in the description box below and it'll take you straight to the product page. So that's all from me, guys. So lastly, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video. And I'll see you guys in part two. Bye!